hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel rebel free in today's video i'm going to explain you about system of linear equations in the subject of m1 basically uh, this is going to be a theory kind of video where i'll explain you all the important points that are required to remember before you start solving equations related to system of linear equations okay system of linear equations is a very important topic and also easier when compared to some of the other topics in this chapter so make sure that uh, you will watch and you will understand it clearly okay so first in system of linear equations we have two types of equations homogeneous and non homogeneous okay two types homogeneous means it will be in the form of ax is equal to 0 non homogeneous means ax is equal to b okay so what do you mean by ax is equal to 0 see th this example a is nothing but the coefficient matrix okay I'll write here a is the coefficient matrix x is the variable matrix and 0 means 0 and b means constant matrix see in case of homogeneous you have some equation is equal to 0 and other equation is equal to 0 all are being equated to 0 instead of a constant term okay that is homogeneous instead of 0 if it is having anything like this 4 9 2 instead of being equated to 0 they are being equated to some constant term okay that is called as the non homogeneous and here this constant matrix is nothing but the matrix D okay I will tell you how to write a uh, matrix now it is very simple see first you need to write the coefficient matrix a what is coefficient matrix coefficient of x coefficient of y and coefficient of z along with negative along with the symbols Al taking symbols is very important every time you should be careful about the symbols next 2 minus 1 4 next 1 minus 11 14 okay this is the coefficient matrix next x x is nothing but the variables you have what do you have x y z right you can get x y z in some matrices you will have a b c in some matrices you will have x1 x2 x3 in some you will have p q r like that okay whatever variables are there that you have to write and 0 is nothing but 0 0 0 0 okay this is about homogeneous is equal to 0 you will have very simple next non homogeneous in non homogeneous what is happening is write the coefficient matrix as it is 1 1 2 right mm. 2 minus 1 3 3 minus 1 minus 1 next variables are x y z is equal to 4 9 2 in this way you have to write the matrices for homogeneous and non homogeneous got it if everything is equal to 0 then it is called as a homogeneous if everything is equal to the constant matrix it is called as a non homogeneous so now let us see the sub sub classifications in homogeneous we have trivial and non trivial two types so what is trivial non trivial I'll tell you if rank of a is equal to n rank of a in the sense this is the matrix a right wait this this is a matrix a for this matrix you need to find out the rank by using echelon form okay by using echelon form you have to find out the rank if the rank is equal to n what do you mean by n n is nothing but number of unknowns okay so here in this example what is n x y z are the unknown values right you need to find out the values of x y z so three unknowns so here n value is three if the rank of a when you calculate the rank of this matrix if you get it as equal to three that is equal to the number of unknown values then it is called as a trivial solution and the solution will be a zero solution zero solution is nothing but x is equal to y is equal to z is equal to 0 that is the only solution it has okay next comes the 
other category which is non trivial solution in non trivial solution rank of a is less than n suppose you have n is equal to 3 number of unknown values are 3 then you will get rank as 2 or you will get rank as 1 okay in that case it is called as a non trivial solution and in non trivial solution i have written here n minus r independent solutions what do you mean by that is simple suppose if you get the rank as 1 okay r is nothing but rank if you are getting the rank is equal to 1 n minus r means what you will get 3 minus 1 right which is 2 that is two independent solutions means you can assume two values and you can find out the third value if you are getting the rank as 2 then 3 minus 2 will become 1 right you can assume one value and you can find out the remaining values this i will explain you more clearly when i explain an example problem related to that okay don't worry So now let us see the classification of non-homogeneous. Since the place is not sufficient, I've written it here. So now let us see the classification of non-homogeneous. Mm, let me zoom in. Yes, or yeah, this is better. So in non-homogeneous, we have two categories here also: rank of A is equal to rank of AB, and rank of A is not equal to rank of AB. So what is AB now? A B is nothing but augmented matrix. Okay, so what is augmented matrix? I'll tell you. See, for example, you have this matrix, right? One, one, two, two, one, two minus one, three. So you have this matrix. You need to combine both A and B and write them together, which is nothing but one, one, two, four. A B you have to combine and write. Next, two minus one three nine three minus one minus one two. So this is the augmented matrix A B. Got it? So in this you have to calculate the rank of this particular matrix using echelon form. So when you are calculating the rank, you will get the rank of both A and A B. Right? A is nothing but you need to consider this matrix. Okay, suppose you got rank of A as three, and you got rank of A B also as three, which means rank of A and rank of A B both are equal to each other. Okay, if both are equal to each other, when then we call that situation as consistent, and from there we get another two subcategories. Suppose if the ranks are not equal, if you are getting the rank of A as two and rank uh, rank of A as three, you are getting, and rank of uh, A B you are getting it as. Two. Like if they are not equal, then it is said to be inconsistent, which means there is no solution. You can leave there. You cannot find any solution for that. Okay, uh, guys, if you are having any confusion, don't worry. I'll explain you clearly about all these things. Uh, each for each and every model, I'll be taking a problem and explain, explaining you so that you will have a. a uh, better understanding okay so here if rank of a is equal to rank of ab again we have two sub conditions so in that the first one is if the rank of a is equal to rank of ab and also the rank is equal to n suppose you got rank rank of a as 3 and rank of ab also as 3 and number of unknowns are also 3 like you have x y z three unknowns so all are equal then it has only unique solution okay only one solution is possible for that if rank of a is equal to rank of ab Right, but it is less than n. Suppose if rank of A is equal to two and rank of AB is also two, but it is less than three, right? So that is why it has infinite number of solutions. Okay, how many ever solutions you want to define, those many solutions you can define for that case. Okay, so this is about the uh, important thing that you have to remember before starting system of linear equations. Homogeneous, non-homogeneous, two categories. Homogeneous is nothing but x is equal to zero. non homogeneous is nothing but ax is equal to b in homogeneous also again two categories if rank of a is equal to n and not equal to n and in non homogeneous also two categories if rank of a is equal to rank of ab and rank of a is not equal to rank of ab like that so first understand this hierarchy and next watch the next coming video so that it will be more clear for you okay thanks for watching the video till the end let's meet up in the next coming video with another topic till then stay tuned to my channel and if you have any video recommendations let me know in the comment section